guys. Okay, so those two front teeth are not my real teeth. And I had them knocked out in October of 2010. Had them knocked out, like you went and paid as a service. Here, my teeth, knock them out, please. No, I did not. I uh, was riding an ATV for the first time. All right. And I think you know where it goes from there. I am aware of the story, yes. I didn't mean to be dece uh, deceptive. So I wanted to get a little air because I was trying to impress some teenage boys, which was a really stupid idea. And I was wearing a helmet, so like safety first, but also it was not a correctly fitting helmet. So think about that That's if you're ever going to ride an ATV. Personal protective equipment. So let's just break this down. So I went up and then I came down as most things that go up do. Getting air. Getting air. Is it like off, off a ramp as it were? A little hill. All right. And my face slammed into the head, like the ha handlebars. Handlebars. Thank you. Wow. Like English is your second language. It's beautiful. Like I can't believe you just pulled that out of thin air. Thank you, darling. American English. Um, and then uh, so this tooth went right up in my gum, and this tooth just you know broke off a little bit. So just just, just, just broke bit. off a little. Um, First tooth. All up in there. Most embarrassing, yes. Second tooth, double boy. Just double boy. Just, just a little bit. Just bye bye, a little bye bye. Oh. And uh, and then um, <laughs> then I was a little bit delirious. Um, lots of blood. In shock, you could say. In shock, you could say. And um, I was trying to find the missing parts of my teeth, and I thought this one was gone because it was all the way up in my gum, and I couldn't feel it. And so I was looking for that one too. And uh, I, the guys, the little teenage boys who were trying to help me, were like, "Why are we doing this?" But sort they of were like helping when, me. When your phone is in your own pocket, <laughs> perhaps playing music you're enjoying. Yes. And then you begin to look for your phone. Yeah. Where is my? Oh, it's in here. Yeah. Your tooth in here. Yeah. Right up there. I'm tracking with your story. This is lovely, darling. And then um, I went to the emergency room. Obviously. Okay. So well this done. whole story is that in fall of 2010, I had very disfigured front teeth. They were lots of gross colors, and they were sharp and jagged and pointed, and a kid called me a vampire, which is one of my favorite parts of this whole entire story. They were and special and unique. Yes. And, and valid, though. Yes. Just like you. And uh, then... Oh, also vampire. So that's when my friend Adina Racist. got me into Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> and I watched a lot of that in bed while I felt very sorry for myself. Until I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. And November rolled around. And it was my third year of doing NaNoWriMo. And I decided, you know what? I need to get out of the house. I need to talk to people and be a human being again. And so I went to a write-in at the library. And guess Lovely. who was there? Um, Tom Arnold. A very cute boy. A very cute boy. My worst nightmare. A very cute boy was there with me in two front this jacket was not teeth. me. No, it wasn't. I was 19. Not I. It was 19. I hadn't met you yet. Right. Which, you know, if I had heard your accent, I would have just fallen oh, immediately. Darling. <laughs> anyway, so this very cute boy was there and I had to introduce myself and I will never oh, forget dear. the look of pity on his face. When he saw my very when you smiled at him, sad vampire as grill. As he gazed upon your disfigurement. <laughs> yes. So I'm doing Anorama this year, and it just reminded me of that um, to prove that yes, I really did get my two front teeth knocked out, and that I was just as dramatic back then as I am now. I recorded a YouTube video called "All I Want for Christmas Is My Two Front Teeth," and you know, right you? before I got two yeah. beautiful caps on my teeth. Diddy. It, it is a fantastic example of truly owning something. Yeah. I will give you that. It is. I will. I, I um, went all the way for it. Inspiring. I got over my insecurity about it. Mm -hmm. And I found out that people don't address things like that. And you can just be a person and it's fine. Okay, merge or very potentially carefully. be called a vampire. Merge very carefully. Um, well, that was a kid. It was funny. I only cried a little bit. It's fine. Okay. Only a little bit. Happy NaNoWriMo. I hope you're having a good so Sunday. So love to the vampires you know. Yes. They are discriminated against, it would seem. <laughs> Treat all people kindly. Yes. All right. Talk to you later. Goodbye.